Okay, they're lining up on the grid. I'm actually so scared. I'm so scared. Okay, green flag. Five lights. <gasps> okay, come on. Come on, Lando. Go on. Okay, he's still in the lead. George is trying. Oh my god, George has gone off. He's having to drive through. So now he's behind both Ferraris, George is. He's got Max next to him now. Oh my god, the McLarens are going side by side. Please don't take each other out, please. Stop, 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 stop. Jesus Christ! Leave each other alone! Piastri is taking the lead! And now Charles has overtaken Lando as well. Great. That scared me so much. They started going at each other, the McLarens, and I thought, no, you know, don't. We've seen this in history one too many times. Yeah, that was crazy. Oh my god, there's like smoke in the background. Someone must have put a tire in the gravel or something. Now Signs is trying on Lando, like... Oh, Perez said George has a lot of damage, it's dangerous. I didn't see any damage. I was too focused on the McLarens going at each other that I missed that. Yeah, Danny is moving up. He's, um... I mean, he's still in 11th, but... Front wing damage. I they're not showing they're not panning the camera to George, so I can't see. Oh yeah, no, he's got front wing damage. The like side plate like has gone off. What? Did you hear any of that that I just said? The like front end plate on there. I think it was on the right side has like flown off. Oh that's gonna affect his uh his speed here. Okay, I know that Lando's sitting in third right now, but we've seen that he can, like, he'll lose the lead in the first lap, and then he will just find some speed like there's no tomorrow, and he'll, he'll just ka-chow up to the front. So I'm not too concerned at the moment, unless the thunderstorm comes around and it starts raining. That would be very chaotic. So if this end plate on George's car has flown off, where is it? Is it on the track? Oh, it's in the gravel. I just saw it. <laughs> the f oh my, oh my. The Haas and Danny Rick are going at it again. Stressing me out there. Greatly appreciate it. This is what I'm saying. They keep going at each other. Leave each other alone. I don't want heartbreak for Danny this race, please. Oh, he's going into the pits. <gasps> he hit... He hit a, like... What do you call it? Little bollard there. Crap. Didn't look like he affected him that much, but... Proper came in. It's coming in hot, yeah. <laughs> it's the only way you describe that, damn. So he's come out in... Eighth... He's got Albon in front of him. Oh no, he's come out in ninth. He's behind Ocon. He likes to fight his teammates. I know Lando's not his teammate, but... <laughs> it gives me trauma when everyone's, whenever someone tries to overtake Ocon. <laughs> okay, that was an easy overtake. Okay, so he's up to eighth. I can't tell you who's going to win this race, actually. Now that all these strategies coming into play... And we don't even know if the rain is going to happen yet or not. It looks quite cloudy there now. Oh, Charles questioning the Ferrari strategy. Uh, he said, why did we do that? Crap! These strategies are all, like, going against each other. And it's getting a bit intense. Let it rain. I wouldn't be mad if it started raining, can't lie. Because I have no idea where this race is going. So I wouldn't mind a bit of chaos. Oh my god. Daniel Ricciardo is under investigation apparently for failing to serve a time penalty correctly. <sighs> Wrong day to wear my Danny shirt. Are you kidding? 
Daniel Ricardo, 10 second time penalty for failing to serve a time penalty correctly. I'm crying. Like, I actually, I'm turning it off. Size is in the pits. Oh. Okay, that wasn't too bad. So everybody is on the hard tyres now, apart from Stroll. <laughs> Not good. They're really um, cracking under pressure. Is Red Bull even trying anymore? <laughs> They're giving up. Oh my god, Max just threw his hands up in the cockpit. He looks mad. Okay, now Perez is in the pits. So Piastri is leading... But Lando is still the one that's setting fastest lap here. <laughs> Max said, how do we do this did then? And then GP said, just get on with it. <laughs> Don't you want an Austrian replay? No, 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 no. Get out. I do not want that all over again. I think I'd actually just... <laughs> so many things have happened this week. That would be like... The feather that breaks the camel's back, I would be on the floor sobbing, having a mental breakdown. So uh, let's not have a replay of Austria, please, and thank you. <laughs> Lando would be lapping, Max. <laughs> oh, how the tables turn. George and Paris. George and Paris. And George has gone off again. Crap. So now Paris has gone through. Oh my god, but George is still right behind him. Oh my god. Paris just goes, what is he doing? He just gave me the position and then raced me. Yeah, you're you're in a race, mate. Like, he'll give the position back, but then he can race you. Lando's in the pits. Three point three seconds. Just don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. I'm actually gonna cry, and I mean it. All I've done this weekend is cry. I don't want to cry anymore. I know they're racing like they're on steroids. Why are the drivers doing this? This isn't Rainbow Road. Can we all just take a chill pill, please? I just hope that uh, Lando can move up and get on the podium. I mean, he's on fresher tyres than anybody else around him. Well, anybody else on the grid. So it would be nice if he could get past Max for a couple of places and, you know, get some more points than him. I don't know. Will anybody have to stop again? That's the question. Because they all pitted quite early. It was like lap 15 to 17 that they all pitted. On their mediums, so yeah, Red Bull pitted a little bit later because they started on the hard tyres, so they didn't. Um, so th their tyres are a little bit younger than everybody else's, but they're still not. It doesn't look like it's making much of a difference for them. Lando's setting fastest lap, good. He's on fresher tyres. That's what we like to see. He's cut four hundredths off his gap between him and Max. Perez is in the pits. Okay. Um, I thought they were going to wait a bit. Can't lie. They said to Oscar, do you think there's any chance for a one stop? And he said, I don't think so. The front left is pretty bit, pretty dead. So he's probably going to pit again. And the Ferraris are on the podium. That's good for, you know, the, the Tifosi right now. Me right now. I know it may be confusing that I'm cheering on the McLarens. My thing is here is like, Ferrari is my favourite team. Forza Ferrari till I die. But, um... I'm starting to realise that Lando is becoming one of my favourite drivers. So when Lando's against the Ferraris, I am cheering him on. <laughs> Anybody else? for the Ferrari. George right behind Perez. Lats was close. They almost made contact. Again. What are these drivers doing? I'm scared. Point four for Lando. And he's going down the straight. Point three. Please don't do an Austria, please. 
Okay, he's still behind him. That was really close. I'm so scared. He's not close enough. My heart is being so fast. Come on. He's overtaking him. And he's done it. He's overtaken him. Okay, sorry. I wasn't so sure going into the corner there because I thought, oh, they're going to make contact, but he's overtaken him. So now Lando's up to fourth. I need a moment to breathe. I really, all I could see in my head was Austria and that was <laughs> terrifying. Um, so, Lando is in fourth. Piastri is in third. It's a Ferrari one two right now. They've really got a question whether they just stick it out and try and go to the end and make this a great one two for the Tifosi in Italy or stop again. Are they going to make it to the end on these tyres? But Piastri is... Um, the gap to signs in Piastri was four seconds and it's now 1.5. So... Hmm. Hmm. Is Piastri going to um, cause the Tifosi to have a meltdown here and ruin their one too? It's 0. 0.9 for Piastri now. Bloody hell. He's found so much time here. It's 0. 0.7. <sighs> I'm stressed. Oh, yeah, he did. He got DRS on that Alpine there. Sign said my front left is nearly gone, but I guess we try. Hmm. He's really cl Piastri is really close though. It's point three. Like Piastri's gonna have him in the next lap. Oh, I'm getting stressed. I love Ferrari and McLaren, so I'm like Oh, there he goes. Piastri's overtaking signs. So, uh, Piastri's in second, but there's, like, 12 seconds between him and Charles. And he's got, like, eight laps left. Is Charles Leclerc going to win the Italian Grand Prix again? Um, I can feel my the tears in my eyes welling. The 2019 Italian Grand Prix was just... The most beautiful moment ever. And if Charles Leclerc is about to win it twice. No, I bloody hell. That helped. Um, Piastri and Sainz battling, though, has helped Lando because now the gap is two seconds. 1.9 for Lando to Sainz. So Lando could get on the podium here because Sainz's tyres are just gone. So although he probably won't catch his teammate, he's not going to win this race, obviously. Signs is tires. This gap, 1.2 now for Lando. Yeah, signs is gonna signs Lando's gonna get signs here. One second. Point eight, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna have two McLarens on the podium. Charles Leclerc is probably gonna win the Italian Grand Prix. I'm crying already, guys. I need to actually contain myself. Okay, come on, Lando. Stop jinxing it. Okay, sorry, sorry. It's, I mean, Carl and Lando do pretty well. They don't try and hit each other, so I feel like they're not going to take each other out here. Come on. My leg is bouncing. I am stressed. You can't be trusted. I can't be trusted when watching IndyCar and NASCAR. No, I always jinx it. They tried to talk to Charles, and he said, leave me alone, let me do this. Fair. The stress, I can only imagine he must be feeling right now. Point two for Lando. Okay. Come on. Down the straight. Come on. Come on. Come on. There he goes. There he goes. He's overtaken signs. Okay, so Lando did make it onto the podium then. And uh, there we go. The commentator just said it. I was just about to say it. This is important for Lando because Max is in sixth. And Lando 
is on the podium. Oh, they just said that if this is the positions they finish in, the the championship battle will shrink from 70 points to 63. Can you hear that? Charles just went down the straight. Did anybody else just hear the crowd? That was crazy. That was like when they race at Silverstone. The crowd was deafening there. They're all on their feet in the crowd. Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to cry. Never did I ever think. A couple races ago, if you were to tell me, yeah, Ferrari will win the Italian Grand Prix in September. What? No. What the hell? This season is full of surprises. Absolutely full of them. What a great podium as well. I don't care if you disagree. Argue with the wall, mate. Charles Leclerc, Oscar Piastri, Lando Norris. You can hear the crowd in the background. Oh my God, I'm literally crying like when Lewis won in Silverstone. Oh my God, I got chills. Final lap. I'm sorry. I'm... And Lando got fastest lap. Oh. Oh no. The Ferrari drivers are driving side by side. I. <sighs> that really hurts. <laughs> When people ask me, why do you watch F1 or why is F1 your favourite motorsport? This is why, okay? Shut your mouth, argue with the wall, okay? I, nothing gets better than this. And I love that we still got both McLarens on the podium. Although neither of them won, still got both of them on the podium. Lando got fastest lap. It's great for um, Lando in the championship. Charles got driver of the day as well. And we got a Ferrari win. The Italian got a break. 